Rashek was the Lord Ruler, and a former terrorist Pakman. He killed Elendi, the man believed at the time to be the hero of ages, and took the power at the Well of Ascension. He ruled the final empire, achieving immortality by combining Furuchimi and Alamancy. He created the Steel Ministry, its inquisitors, the Kandra and the Colossus through use of hemolurgy. Rashek was born in a terrace town. His uncle was Quan. It was said that he hated all of Clenium with a passion, but the culture of the final empire seems to have been heavily inspired by that of Clenium, suggesting some degree of envy on Rashek's part. The power of the Well of Ascension gave Rashek the ability to recreate the world, but only for a limited time. He used this power to move the planet closer to its sun, so as to burn away the mists that were threatening all life on it. This had the side effect of making the planet too hot to sustain life, forcing him to create the ash mounts to thicken the atmosphere and protect the surface. This in turn forced him to change the people to be able to breathe the newly ash-filled air and to re-engineer the planet's biology to work with the new atmosphere. He also discovered hemolurgy at this time and used it to create the Kandra, Colossus, and Inquisitors. Finally, he rearranged the planet's geography to hide the well. He condensed some of the power from the well into the metal Laurasium, which he then ingested, becoming a Mistborn. He is the only man known to have been a full Farukamist and a Mistborn at the same time, and doing so granted him great power. One of these powers was immortality. As Says speculated in the epilogue of Book 1, the Lord Ruler most likely spent time regularly storing youth in Adia Mines, then saw him doing this when she entered his secret room in Credit Shaw, just before she was captured. This caused him to age significantly during the storing process. However, because he was also an Alamancer, he was able to swallow and burn his Adia Mines. This burning presumably released a great amount of youth, many times the amount that was originally stored. As Sazed explained in the epilogue of Book 1, this alimantic burning of the metal mines would not work for sustained youthfulness, only for a short, magnified burst. Therefore, when the Lord Ruler burned the Adia mines, he stored most of the resulting youth in his metal mine bracers, the ones that Vin ripped away from him in the final fight of Book 1. This allowed him to slowly draw on the youth stored in those metal mines, thereby allowing himself to maintain whatever state of youthfulness he desired. The Lord Ruler was able to achieve amazing effects with his powers. Kelsier describes an instance in which Rashek was burned down to little more than a skeleton but regenerated in a matter of minutes and Rashek himself claimed he has been beheaded at least once. Although this potent combination gave him incredible power, allowing him to live for a thousand years, he became utterly dependent on his metal mines, and when Vin managed to steel push them away from him, he aged rapidly and died within a few minutes. Some 300 years after his death he is remembered as the Sliver, likely referring to his claims that he was a sliver of the power of God.